Now in the back 40 at Day's Farm we have a labyrinth of trails. About 5 kilometers of trails that I even cut the grass on. So since we get a lot of enjoyment driving our off-road machines like bikes and quads or crappy cars or whatever back here, or stopping and getting out and enjoying eating the berries for whatever reason, they're good. I have mosquito control. Redneck and simple but very effective. I haven't even seen a mosquito in a long time. And I'm in the middle of the forest in the middle of June. So, here and there throughout the forest, beside my laneways, is these water holes. Well, I dug them with my backhoe tractor, my case. Well, what I do is really logical if you think about it. I've got about eight of these around the back of the farm. So if you understand a mosquito's life cycle, well, some of them have to find a place to hibernate and freeze over the winter time. Well, they come back to life in the spring, but last year's crop of mosquitoes isn't going to last that long the next year. So what they do is they go find somebody to bite, get some blood, get their eggs fertilized, and the blood feeds their eggs, and then they lay eggs. Well, then we have the new generation of mosquitoes. So you give them a place to lay their eggs. So you dig holes. A mosquito will only lay its eggs in an area that's a small hole that they think a frog won't live in or a frog won't lay its tadpoles or eggs in. So if a mosquito sees like a big puddle like that, we only have that because it rained an inch last night, they automatically assume by evolution that they have no idea how long that's going to last, but they know that's big enough that a frog or a toad might consider laying its eggs in there. Well, tadpoles form. What do tadpoles like to eat? One of their favorite things is mosquito larvas. Lots of protein. So mosquitoes prefer little pools of standing water. Well, biology tells them that no frog would dare lay its eggs in there because it would probably dry up as the weather warms up and all the tadpoles would die. So mosquitoes choose whether it may be man-made like an old tire or a garbage can or something like I dug or it be nature made like this little dip in the land. They choose small patches of standing water preferably with sun and shade or just in the shade but usually never in the direct sunlight. Since the gestation of a mosquito larva is around two weeks it usually gives them long enough to complete their life cycle from egg to larva to mosquito before one of these small little pools dries up. So that's why they choose them, and since there won't be any tadpoles in them either. So by digging these handy holes here and there, gives all my mosquitoes a great place to reproduce and start the next generation, for example, 2009. Well, since I'm much smarter than a mosquito, I wait for about two weeks till I see them laying their eggs, and I see lots of wiggly, wiggly larvae in there, and then I just go pour some used motor oil in these little ponds. That's why they have that disgusting sheen on them. Well, used motor oil does two things. One, it coats their body in motor oil if they try to change into a mosquito and crawl out and that kills them, they can't fly. And two, it suffocates them because it stops the water from having a good ability to absorb oxygen. So either way, it's free, it's, you know, it couldn't be cheaper. It's very effective. Now if you didn't have all these holes dug like I do in my forest, well, certainly the mosquitoes would find another place. They always want to pick the most ideal place, the deepest small hole. So each one of these holes is about four feet deep, so they last a long time. So that every two, three weeks, month, whatever, I go dump a little bit more motor oil on them. Eventually in the summer they do dry up. But if you don't have any pockets like this, they'll find another place to lay their eggs and you'll have the whole new generation for this year. You don't want that. You want to give them a place to dump all their eggs, wipe out that first generation that's going to come in 2009, and then you won't have the second generation and the third and they won't be reproducing. So you can walk around in the forest all day like I am today and not get a single bite or even see a mosquito. Now that's cool.